Yahu, one thing that I want to put it out there. It goes to our parents, our wives, our girlfriends, our close friends, our siblings. Whatever that we go and do out there, they have to appreciate it. The big or the small things that we do for them, they have, they have to appreciate it. You know what? why I'm, I'm saying that? Because whatever I could be, it was a sacrifice. Because you and I know that if a two was physically okay, there is no way we we'll go to attire. No disrespect to attire for. And there is no way we we'll go to attire. We're losing a bit of audio there. Hopefully, your line was breaking for some reason. Maybe it's uh, your cable yeah. or. If, if we can hear you better now, yeah, I think if you can repeat what you were saying about the sacrifices you guys have to make all the time, but we take it for granted, you know. Yeah, I was, I was, I was saying that, I mean, whatever we go and do there, families should appreciate what, whatever we, we go through. I mean, um, we all know Achu. Achu is one of the most talented player Ghana has ever had. The first time I saw Achu, um, our info was there years back. You know that Mondays when the professional comes down, we play Monday special. So um, we played against them, the local players. And there was this short guy who was like doing magic on the pitch. So um, I was looking at him, and Osef uh, Kufo was like, that this guy is dangerous. So, so then, uh, so after our holidays, we went back. We came back and we played a match again, and he was not. He was not there. So I asked. I asked of him. They said that oh, somebody has come for for him. So I mean, even at violation, somebody saw the talent. That's why I said Achu is one of the most talented players Ghana has ever had. And as I said, you and I know that Achu will never, if it's not because of injuries, Achu will never ever go to Ataya to play. Never. But he took the sacrifice. He went there to relaunch, uh, relaunch himself, his career. And uh, this is what we have had. So as I was saying, whatever we do for our parents, whatever we do for our wives, our girlfriends, our siblings, our close friends, whether small or big, they have to appreciate it because, yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. I mean, your, your, the color of your skin, cry. <laughs> it's not easy. To be in the dress room is not easy in, outside there. It's not. And you know, um, it's taken our choose death to actually bring this conversation, especially with Turkey. It's quite an interesting, but we've heard, uh, Ahimful has told me quite a lot, even before today, you know, Sam Johnson, Yaa Preko, very interesting stories. Maybe we need to be telling the stories so that we, we learn more, we appreciate, we're educated. You know, going to a village, they've never seen a, a black man and they'll come up to you and the racism and the love combined. You know, your family is thousands of miles away, it's difficult, homesick. We need to be telling these stories. And I think you guys, too, you, maybe you have... You have to write a book. Yeah, you, you have, you know, we're seeing some of his goals here. Yeah. You know, he, he, he performed at the very highest level. And Ahimfo, I didn't know, Ahimfo just told us about the extent of injuries and how he really had to suffer and still didn't give up. 31, yeah. you know? And when he's fit, he's one of the yeah, best in Newcastle. He's, he's, he's dangerous. The, the current coach said it. He said, look, I've worked this guy. Yeah, he played for Bournemouth. Yeah, mm, he went as well. Bournemouth. You know, his touch. <sighs> uh, free kicks, uh, the passing, the shots from far. And he's quite a diminutive player. He kicks it as if mm -hmm. it's, it's nothing. And he scored so many that of these goals. Last goal. What what tribute? We're still paying tribute to him. Yeah, uh, yeah we're looking through all this. Uh, GPL headquarters.